In a Lightman Research Group survey of 1,000 TV households, 75.1% of them had at least one Internet-connected TV device. For example, smart TV, standalone streaming device, connected video game console. A marketing executive wants to convey high penetration of Internet-connected TV devices, so he makes the claim that the percentage of all homes with at least one Internet-connected TV device is equal to 82%. Test that claim using a 0.05 significance level. Use the p-value method and use the normal distribution as an approximation to the binomial distribution. Okay, so let's first identify the claim in this problem. So the claim says here that he makes the claim that the percentage of all homes with at least one internet connected TV device is equal to 82%. Okay, so we're going to use the p-value method and then we're going to identify the following given information. Well, we know that the sample size is equal to 1,000 because that's 1,000 TV households. We know that the point estimate is given to be 75.1%, so as a decimal, that's 0.751. Now, what is the population proportion? Well, it says it is equal to 82%, so that's 0 0.82. And then the complement is 1 minus 0 0.82, so that's equal to 0 0.18. Okay, now let's check the requirements. Well, we know that 1,000 were randomly selected. We know that there's a fixed number of independent trials. And then the requirements is that n times p and n times q is greater than 5. So we know that 1,000 times 0.82 is 820, which is greater than 5. 1,000 times 0 0.18 is 180, which is also greater than 5. Therefore, we would say that the three requirements are satisfied. Now let's state the claim and the opposite of the claim. Well, from our sentence about the claim, we see that the proportion percentage is equal to 0 0.82. And so therefore, the opposite of that claim would be that P does not equal 0 0.82. So now let's go ahead and use that as our way to identify the null and the alternative hypothesis. So we know that the null always contains the equality. And we know the alternative is now given there. So we know that the equality is within the claim. So P is equal to 0 0.82. And therefore, the alternative is the opposite of the claim, which is not equal to 0 0.82. So let's go ahead and put in our result here. So we know that P is equal to 0 0.82. And then P does not equal 0 0.82. Let's check our answer. And there it is. Now we need to identify the test statistic. But before we do that, let's determine what our tail test is going to be. Well, the alternative hypothesis determines that. Whether it's left, right, or two-tailed, we can see that this is not equals. So therefore, that is a two-tail test. And then what is the significance level? Well, the significance level is at 0 0.05. So alpha is equal to 0 0.05. Okay, now let's determine the test statistic of the formula for the proportion, and here it is. So we know that the sample size is 1,000. We know the point estimate was given to be 0 0.751. We know that P is equal to 0 0.82. And we know Q is equal to 0 0.18. Now let's plug it into our formula. So we have 0 0.751 minus P, which is 0 0.82.
and then we're going to divide that by 0 0.82 which is P times 0 0.18 and then divide that by N which is 1000 and then we're going to approximate it to two decimal places. So we have 0 0.751 minus 0 0.82 and we're going to divide that by the square root of 0 0.82 times 0 0.18. And then we're going to divide that by 1,000. And there is our test statistic. So let's go ahead and then round that to two decimal places. So rounding that to two decimal places gives us negative 5.68. Let's put that in here, negative 5.68. There's our answer. Now we're going to find the p-value. So in order to find the p-value, we want to be able to draw and then label the curve. And then we're going to locate where the test statistic of negative 5.68 is. So we know it's going to be to the left of 0, negative 5.68. And then we're going to shade this part here from what we want to look for. But we know this is a two-tail test. So that means two tails will be shaded. But we'll first find the p-value of the one tail and then multiply it by 2. So we're going to find the p-value is the probability of that test statistic to the left, which is to the left of negative 5.68. So let's go ahead and open up StatCrunch to determine that. So we're going to use StatCrunch. We're going to go to Stat calculators and then go to normal since we're using the normal distribution which is the test statistic for z and we know we're going to point to the left and then put in the test statistic of negative 5.68 and that gives us this p value here so what does this p value represent well, this p-value is the following. It is negative, or actually 6.73 times 10 to the negative 9, which means that we need to move this decimal place over 9 times. So if we move that over 9 times, let's go ahead and do that over here on this side. So if we move that over nine times, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So therefore we have our zeros here. So we get a p-value rounded to four decimal places to be 0 0.0000. Now since we get I think, wait, let's see here, we wanted to round it to three decimal places. So that is actually three zeros. So if we take two and multiply it by zero, 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 we're still going to get zero, zero, zero. So let's put in our answer of zero. And there's our p-value. And now we need to state the conclusion. So we know that we need to compare the p-value with the significance level and so we know the p-value is 0, 0.000 we know the significance level is 0, 0.05 so we can see that the p-value is less than the significance level so if the p-value is less than or equal to the significance level we reject the null if it is greater than the significance level we fail to reject the null in this case here we're going to reject the null hypothesis Okay, now let's go back up here and look at the claim. The claim contains the equality sign, so that's going to allow us to then determine the conclusion. 
So if you notice, the first two says it does not include equality. So we'll eliminate those. So the original claim includes the equality, and we rejected a null. So that means we're going to use this. And so this is our conclusion. We would say that there is sufficient evidence to warrant rejection, the claim that followed by the original claim. So we're going to say that we reject the null hypothesis and that there is sufficient evidence to warrant rejection of the claim that the percentage of all homes with at least one internet connected TV device is equal to 82%. Let's check our answer and there is our result.